What's going on everybody? It's Federo and today I want to talk about how too much equipment is ruining your vocals. Now I know 30, 40, 20 years ago, equipment was just expensive. We still have a lot of outboard gear that's pretty expensive, but it's 2020. And we have to realize that these software emulations and these plugins are amazing. So I had a customer hit me up the other day and they were just saying like, man, like I just can't get that sound that I'm looking for. I got this expensive mic, I got this Universal Audio Apollo, you know, and I have all the right software. Why am I not getting the vocals that I'm looking for? And he had some outboard gear attached to it. And I just simply told him, like, yo, detach your outboard gear and just run straight into your UA Apollo. Because the thing is, we have to realize that when we have these Universal Audio uh, units, that they themselves create these emulations based off this expensive hardware that were thousands of dollars back in the day. That was still pretty expensive now. So, I told them to do that, told them to run just a simple compressor and the UA Apollo, and the Universal Audio Apollo, and voila, magic. His vocals sound good, he's back up and running, he has the vocals that he's looking for. Now it's not my position to say that you shouldn't have this stuff in your studio because if you absolutely know how to use this stuff you probably should use it but to me there's no real advantage because you have a, you know you have waves and you have slate digital you have universal audio that's developed such great emulations based off this hardware that it's just no sense to to go out and buy this stuff and then the software emulations are much much cheaper but you know people say hey well I just want to sum the audio back in and I just want to patch it back in to this hardware but if you look at it, everything is, have, is going to have to be digital anyway. So you might as well just run it straight through the plugins. You might as well just run it through these emulations that already sound incredible instead of layering things. So the main problem that I see is you have this outboard gear that's running into like something like a Universal Audio Union or whatever, because most of this most of these audio interfaces these days have DSP technology with their own emulations. You're adding emulations on top of there, and then you're going into your DAW Pro Tools or either Logic or Reaper or whatever you have, and you're adding plugins and compressors and EQs there. So you have so many layers of plugins and hardware emulations that you're coloring your sound so much that of course you're going to get a distorted sound. Of course you're going to get these, these vocals that sound absolutely crazy if you don't know what you're doing. Because a lot of people who go out and buy this expensive stuff, let's be honest, a lot of them don't know how to use this outboard gear because they don't simply come from that era. So I have a basic setup. So the only thing that I'm running is my Apollo, my Apollo 8, with my CV12, and then I'm running a compressor within the Apollo, and then of course I'm using my recording template. Now what's the same Pro Tools template that I use on every song? If you want to use a Pro Tools template and make your recording process fast and easy with little knowledge, check in the link below. But I'm just using the Apollo 8 with the CV12 with a small compressor and my template and I never have to really touch anything. I really have to touch any settings. A few tweaks in the plugin here and there and the song sounds magic. So today I would just make a suggestion that you know get rid of the outboard gear. You really don't need it. You know we can record in small confined spaces and make great recording. So it's Federo. Until next time make great music.